in her Throw up the sex in her Back in 2019, I was outside freely, but now they got it out for me. I don't care what credit you was in, you can't out for me. Keep dreaming, pineapple juice, I give a sweet. We're here for three days. Three days. So this is our first full. Oh my god! There's already a cat. There's been so many little kitties. Hi. Oh my god! There's been so many cats here. Oh, she's feeding for my attention. She's loving. Oh my god! She's actually letting you pet her. Most of them won't. It's probably a house cat. Oh my god! What a cutie. Yeah, it's all staring at me. Joel, she wants to rub up on you. Oh my god. She's so friendly, what a cutie. Let her come to you because you don't know what she'll do. Oh, she wants to kiss. But as I was saying, so we just got here and we're on the Amalfi Coast in this spot called Maori. And it's so beautiful here, like it's actually insane. Like right now we're just walking down from my Airbnb. And when we booked the Airbnb, we had no idea there was gonna be like a million stairs to climb up just to get to the Airbnb. The place has like a really, really beautiful view, but like we counted how many stairs we had to walk up yesterday and it was like 400 and something stairs. Like you said 487 or 27. Yeah, it was like 400 and something and it's insane. You would think that that many stairs is like not that big of a deal, but once you actually have to walk them like every day, a few times a day, it's actually it's crazy. It's not down, that's the problem, it's up. Yeah, and the good thing, we didn't really bring like a big luggage for this trip. We just brought one carry-on and then we brought our backpacks because we're just traveling for a week from Portugal. But if we had like a big luggage and if we all had a big luggage, like a 50 pound luggage, there'd be absolutely no way that we would be able to bring that up these stairs. Like I don't, I think it's actually almost impossible, at least for like us. We have to plan our whole day around the stairs because you can't just go up and down like easily. We are all like pretty fit and like- And it's hard, like we work out almost every day and we like this is hard for us and that says a lot so it sounds like I'm over exaggerating but I'm not <laughs> it's equivalent to like a workout yeah when we first got here and we had to climb these stairs with our backpacks we were all completely drenched in sweat like it was gross especially because it's so sticky when you're hot yeah and it's like humid groceries. and hot they yeah, they all oh there. yeah and then we were talking to somebody yesterday because I didn't film last night because we were just drinking and then we went out for pizza but we went to the best there. pizza place and the guy was telling us he lives up here as well and he said that there's no other way to get up on the stairs like you can't drive and he says he has to carry his groceries up here and he's like yeah by the time you do it like and live here you get really used to it and your legs just like adjust which makes sense but for us it's just like crazy <laughs> We just got, or we just found this little cafe. It's called, oh it says right here, Cafe Marcel. And it's like one or one of the only like little cafes in the area. We found this other one, but they didn't really have a seating spot. So we came back to this one because they have like chairs and stuff outside. But you guys, the prices here are like so cheap. Like for a croissant, it's just like two euros. And like a little breakfast is like two euros. Like it's so cheap here. I guess because we're not really in a touristy area, which is nice. It's just like not everybody like speaks English. So we're really like immersing ourselves in the culture. Oh, 
You guys, this is the huge bee. Oh my god, it is so scary. It does not even not look as big as it does on camera because I'm too scared to like get too close to it. But oh my god, it is so big and scary. We just finished our little coffee. Actually, these are big coffees. These are cappuccinos and it was so good. And then we had Nutella croissants and me and Joel got like a few pieces of toast with jam. It was so good. And the croissants had like a little bit of like a lemon flavor. And we're thinking that like it's probably because there's so many lemons here. Like it's so beautiful. There's like just like these huge lemon trees that grow like hundreds of lemons on them. And it's so pretty. So they probably just use those lemons and everything. And everything just seems like so fresh here. Like the pizza was just crazy. I think we're going to go to the same pizza spot that we went to last night. But get the pasta that's there. And I'll show you guys that tonight because I just didn't vlog yesterday. But it was so good. And we're, we're definitely probably going to take a pizza to go home. Like we're going to pizza every day regardless. I already had a pizza oh, piece this morning. There's so many of these little three-wheeled trucks here and they're so cute. Like they're actually mini, the cab is so small, but there's so many people driving them and they're so cute. We just got ice cream i got strawberry and it's like it's really good but it's not like it's like as big of a comparison from like the pizza if that makes sense like you guys agree why are you why are you comparing the gelato to the pizza no, no, no she's no, saying like I mean. there's a big difference between the pizza here oh, oh, and vancouver oh, oh, oh. yeah there's a big difference Whereas, between pizza here in vancouver versus ice cream here yeah okay. i've heard gelato is like so good in italy but like this kind of tastes like it's really good don't get me wrong but it kind of tastes like something i can get at another gelato store but it's good. Sorry. And they add this cute little waffle thing on the top. <laughs> Big tone. They added this cute little waffle. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a bite of it, dries it. <laughs> Just walking home now. I just bought these sunglasses because mine fell in the ocean and I just really wanted another big pair of sunglasses. So we just bought these. But now we're just gonna go back home because we've done something. Wait, why are we going back home? We're going to the supermarket. Okay, okay we're gonna go to the, the supermarket. Boys take a nap. Uh, seriously? And she's also gonna be there at five to take our Oh yeah, so when we when you come here, there's something called like a tourist tax where it's like a a dollar fifty. I don't know if that's for three nights or if it's for like our whole stay. But you have to pay tourist tax. I'm not sure what's that like exactly for, but our Airbnb host is coming to collect that. So we gotta be home for her. Just like look at how beautiful the city is. It's so crazy. But yeah, so we're gonna go home to just meet with her. But like once we get home, we can't just come back easily because of the stairs. So I think we're gonna go home, get ready for dinner and have like an early night and then obviously come back out later. about the stairs so I thought that I would just show you like what I mean so that you guys don't think like we're just over exaggerating so Madison is gonna take us going up the stairs I'm gonna do a little time lapse so you can see how far it is like from the road like from street level because we're literally all the way up there <gasps> oh my goodness he put his ears back like Brenna when he's wagging his tail Hello. Hello. okay stair number one you guys can count you're covering the camera girl
This is our halfway mark. This is our halfway, no. so we were done. Barely halfway, actually. Is this halfway? Yeah. <laughs> oh. This one's scared. Oh. No. oh. She wasn't having it. Be breathing in And we are here. I'm literally sweating. So we kind of domesticated a cat. <laughs> she literally was just like wanting pet so bad. Like watch. Oh, baby girl. And so we opened the door and she came right in. And she's just loving the pets and she's literally roaring. Like she's just purring so loud. And she's just the cutest little bean, and she wants pets so bad. There's so many stray cats here, it's actually crazy. Actually, I don't really know if they're like completely stray, but if they just roam the area and people feed them, or actually I guess that is stray, but yeah, I have no idea if she has an owner or not, but she just came right in and she's loving, she's fiending for these pets right now. So we just got ready, the sun just came out. These are the fits for the day. My set is from Revolve. Madison, where is this year from? Um, H&M. And we both decided to wear a little bit of a green moment today. And we have a bottle of champagne to celebrate Italy and its finest beauty and the stairs that we have to climb up every day. We deserve an award because our calves are shaking. Or my calves are shaking at least. What are your dirty comments in the back? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's literally like church bells going off in the background. They're, they go off like every hour. Like even late at night, they're going off. Someone's ringing them down there. But anyways, cheers to Italy 2023. I don't even know how to pop a bottle, so that stops there. There's a peel tower. No, what's it going? Woo! Woo! I didn't shake it. You don't. <laughs> That's a good little pop. Cheers, we're having a poor little glass now on this cute little table that we have on the patio. Hey guys, we are currently walking to La Terraza. It's supposed to be a good um, pasta restaurant. We've never obviously tried it before, but we're just really hoping on the Google reviews here. But last night, the Google reviews did not let us down because we found the most amazing pizza place. So we're just gonna go here for pasta and then we're gonna get pizza again tonight. We're just gonna do pizza every single night that we're here because it's just too good. Like, I don't think you guys understand. I'll show you guys tonight. But we're gonna do pizza every single night. So we're getting it tonight plus the pasta. But we're just trying to find the pasta shop right now. But yeah. We made it to La Terraza. We got a little bit of wine. We got half a liter for the table. They gave us some little bread baskets, but no butter. It's kind of we're eating dry bread with breadsticks. It's kind of weird. Like, where's the butter? But anyways, Madison ordered gnocchi and then I ordered la carbonera and we're going to share because we couldn't decide which ones to get so we're just going to like share the two. Um, but yeah, I'll update you guys when we get the food so let you know how it is. We are at the Italian pizza place that we came yesterday. Again. Again. After having pasta. After having pasta because this is our second dinner because it was just so good yesterday that we was just like, 
we have to come back and we have to have a second dinner because we wanted to do pasta but like we had to do pizza again here because it was just too good like i don't think you guys understand like the pizza back home is like just not formulated with the right ingredients so it's like doesn't taste the same <laughs> But then like once you come here, it's formulated with the right ingredients, so it just tastes like so amazing. It's the quality. It's the quality ingredients. of ingredients. It's like the tomatoes are fresh, the pe the pizza sauce is fresh, the gluten is like flour fresh, and you just can't get there <laughs> that anywhere else. The flour, the flour is hot, it's freshly, hot. Like freshly picked from the leaves. When I took my first bite, it was just like a miracle in my mouth. You guys, we are literally in the streets of Italy. Guys, like it's we're in the no streets. Joke. Like we're in the corridor of the streets right now. Okay, you guys, you need to take over the vlog. Oh, that's a vlog. Don't drop. So, guys. I cannot wait for this pizza. Um, you don't understand. We're in Italy. We're in a town called Maori. Um, but the we guy? want you guys to comment your favorite place that Michaela has been so far on this trip. Because it's been a long trip. I and, mean, you know, they've gone a lot of places. They've had fun. They've been to two places. We're going to go to more places. Right now we're in Italy, but we're going to go to more. So mm -hmm. we want you guys to comment your favorite one. Leave a comment. It's good for the algorithm. <laughs> you know. Did I just say Slenderman? What? We got the pizza. Oh, this is the new one. <gasps> she got that. That's good. Look at that. Oh my god, that is just like- I just want to rip a little piece for myself right now. Wait, he didn't cut it. We can't cut them. Hey guys, it is the last day that we're here. This is the little dress of the day. It's from Revolves. And then Madison's just wearing a black suit dress. There's apparently a thunderstorm warning for today. So we don't really know like when that's gonna come. So we're just gonna get like a little sweater and hopefully it doesn't start downpouring on us because that would actually suck. But I looked at the weather, it's supposed to start at like three. That kind of sucks it's on our last day here, but we'll see what happens. We're just gonna go down now to the cafe, have breakfast, and then just do our day. And then I don't know, like it's just gonna depend on the weather, I guess. But I'm gonna get another pizza though, maybe for lunch. Like let's just go. And dinner. I think I know what we've got to get. We've got to try, like, even that place we popped in. Yeah, there's, like, a there lot of bakeries possible. here. Like, every there, like, corner, there's, like, a bakery, and it, everything looks so good. So, we just want to try, like, a bunch of things. Like, honestly, just eat so much food today. And then, I don't know, we think of doing a boat tour or something, but, like, the weather is not really going to be nice today, so it's kind of, like, we don't know what to do. Like, our Airbnb host came, and she put down the umbrella. She's like, it's going to be storming today, so we don't know. Okay, we just got some lasagna that is already destroyed. And then we got some gnocchi. And then, Where? what's that again? Calzone. Like calzone. Calzone. And it's so good. Me and Madison are sharing the lasagna because, like, it was a really big portion. And, like, the things here are so filling because it's, like, just pot. Like, um, carbs. Carbs. So it's so filling but so good. It's literally cheese and carbs everywhere here. We already ate it. I forgot to film before, but just, like, imagine a really good lasagna and gnocchi. And this is the little bakery that we got it from. That is it, and it's so cute. We were just walking and we saw these huge ass lemons. Like those are like big lemons already. And then we saw these ones. Like look at it in comparison to my hands. The size is like a, like, like a mini soccer ball. Yeah, like literally a mini soccer ball. Like how is this even possible? Like wow, that is just so weird. How do you even eat that? You must have to use it for baking or something. So it's like a lot of lemon. That is insane. walking along the water because it is so nice and we really want to go swimming because it's kind of hot today but we didn't bring our bathing suits which kind of sucks because we didn't really like think about it yesterday it was kind of just like the weather was not there for swimming yeah i don't know but apparently that's not coming until three like i don't know if that's actually accurate but there's a thunderstorm warning i already said that but we want to go swimming, but those stairs, we can't just go back up them and come back down and then go back up them again. It's like not functional. So we think that when we go for dinner, we're just gonna like bring a bathing suit and then 
we can just go after dinner because that's like the most practical but yeah we'll see the water is just looking so nice today and this walk along the water is so nice we didn't do this yesterday because we were more like in the town but it's so pretty and it's really hot today which is really nice We ran into some cats when walking up the stairs and oh my god, this is like a 10 out of 10 loaf over here. And this Marvelous. paw placement is too good. They are so Back cute. Orange cats look like a male cat. It's so cute. Okay. We made it up the stairs. I just got dressed for the beach. I think I'm just gonna wear these jean shorts. Maybe like a shirt over it just for the walk there, but we get so sweaty anyways and it's a pretty hot day. I'm just scared that we're gonna get down to the beach and then it's gonna start thunderstorming. So hopefully that doesn't happen and we can actually go swimming. But it, it would kind of be a vibe to actually swim in like the thunderstorm when it's like raining, but the walk up would not be fun. So we'll see. I just like cross my fingers, hope that we can seamlessly just go back down and swim. We were gonna just swim when we went for dinner later, but it's just, I feel like not gonna be the vibe because we're all gonna be like in our nice outfits and we're not gonna want to change and it's gonna be like colder so since the water is pretty cold it's like more important to swim when it's nice and hot so I mean we have to swim we have to feel the water here we can't not go to the beach and swim but anyways so that's what we're doing we made it up the stairs it honestly wasn't as bad as like the last time that I did it because I think my legs are adjusting a bit and the guy said that you get adjusted pretty quickly and I feel like I am like maybe a little bit i was still sweating but it was a lot better like it didn't feel as long as like the previous time but yeah so we're gonna go down to the beach and hopefully it doesn't thunderstorm currently at the beach I don't know if you can hear me but it's so nice the water is so clear it's kind of rocky though which sucks but the water is really 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 nice and it's not as cold as I was expecting which is nice yeah the boys are just playing in the water we're just chilling we kind of want to watch the stuff when we're here because we don't want us to get stolen so we're just kind of staying on alert here because we met this guy who said that he got robbed twice in 20 minutes and that was in napoli that was in napoli but like you never know so i'm just like keeping an eye on our stuff over there because we have like our wallets and our phones so it's better to be safe than sorry because we can't i don't want to be all swimming at once and then you know be a little bit too much the lulu and be dumb and then get our stuff stolen so i'm just keeping a little eye on it but it's so nice and so hot Okay, so here's a little Airbnb tour. It's actually the morning right now, but I wanted to show you guys before we leave. All our stuff is out there and we're just getting ready. So you start in here, this is the door. There's a cute little lamp out here and you can see all the windows from the outside. Yeah, they live up there. Um, but yeah, it's a really cute little house. And then you walk in here, there's a little TV, a little table, and the kitchen is actually really cute. I really, I don't know, I like the pattern of it. It's kind of like old style, but still kind of like modern-ish, I guess. And the tile is all throughout the house and it's so pretty. 
There's a little mini couch, which is really random, but at least there's a little some place to sit here. And the living room and the kitchen is just kind of one room here, but it's not like you're in the house much anyway, so it does the job. And then they also have a little umbrella in case it rains. And then you turn the corner, there's a big long hallway, and then there's two bedrooms. The first one is right here. Tile, again, so cute. All the bedrooms have like basically the same bed and the same night tables. And then there's two little lamps here, little table there. And then they have these gorgeous curtains and windows, which the windows just like open right up if you want. But the view, you guys, like during the day and like later in the morning is so pretty when like the sun rises fully because it's like so bright. But yeah, you basically get a view from the room and I love the curtains on the window. Like it's so cute. There's just a little chair in the corner and then a, like a whatever you want to call this. And then just some hooks behind the door. So that's bedroom one. It's actually pretty decent size. And I don't know what size this is. It's kind of like in between a queen and a king, but it's pretty big. Then you just walk out of the room, down the hallway. To the right is the bathroom, which is so nice. Like you, you can take a shit and have this view. This view is insane from the bathroom. Like when you're sitting on the toilet right here, you're literally looking out into this view. <laughs> but the shower's right here and then just some towels there. And this is the little mirror and sink. It's a pretty small area here. Like there's not really any storage, which kind of sucks. Like they can definitely put something underneath here, but still super cute, has a blow dryer too. But yeah, just a little cute little bathroom with a really nice view. So here's the second bedroom. You walk in, it has the same bed, same night tables, and it has a little cute cave thing over the bed, which is so cute. And then it has a dresser and then one of these things again. We just have our towels in the corner, but um, a chair. And then this one has a view as well. Not as nice as the other one, but it's still so beautiful. And then it has curtains again, which I love. Like just that little touch makes it look so like such like a moment over here, like a vibe. But it's so cute. And yeah, that's the second bedroom. They're actually really decent sizes. 